Howdy everyone. Welcome to the next Positive Gravity. I'm Doug Howe. Today we're going to be starting a new project with this spalted uh, maple burl. There's some spalting in here. This was the, the cutoff that I had from the last base I made, which was on a much bigger piece of the same junk, and that had spalting in it. Um, so this was a cutoff from that in order to change the shape of that to better utilize the wood. And I've done the same with this piece. I've cut off a couple pieces on the bandsaw to kind of square it up. So now I have this nice piece and I'm going to be planning to make a 10 inch plate out of it. Um, I don't know if you can see the pencil line here, but that's the biggest plate I can really get out of this. So that's the plan. Um, pretty straightforward. I'll probably have to pick a side for the top and the bottom. Not sure. They're pretty different actually. This side's got all the burl in it. This side actually is a lot lighter on the top here. It's got some inclusions. So I'll have to give that a think before I decide how to, which side's gonna be the top, but I'm gonna mount the face plate and mount it up. But before I do that, I'm gonna take it to the bandsaw and um, cut this basically round to make my life easier. And I'll save some pieces of wood that I might be able to use for some other small inlay or something like that. That's the plan for this piece. Um, thanks for joining me and don't forget, always enjoy that process. Sometimes that's all there is. Let's get cutting. All right, let's go. I opted to just go between centers. Hey, if you enjoy my channel and like watching my videos or if you just learn some things from my videos, feel free to hit that subscribe button. That's the best way to show your support and uh, get some notifications when new videos get posted. I try to post every week or two.
had finished sanding, um, I'm using denatured alcohol here to clean up, uh, you know, clean off the sanding residue and also reveal any scratches that are left that will need further sanding. And so I usually go through a couple iterations of this, checking for scratch marks until the sanding is perfect. Here I am now polishing with Dr. Kirk's polishing paste. It's got three different grits to it. Um, it does a nice job polishing up the wood and uh, does seem to seal the wood a little bit. Um, so in future app uh, applications of oil, it doesn't take quite as much oil. smoothing uh, the top surface of the bowl and I want to try to identify about a third of the uh, radius of the bowl to make that the, the lip of the bowl and the um, other two-thirds will become the bowl itself so I'm just measuring that out and that will determine where I level and where I start cutting into the bowl. So while I had it off the lathe there, you'll see those black areas. I did some filling of some bark inclusions with black CA. So I'm just uh, sanding that off now. decided to try a little wet sanding on the outside. Uh, I think I worked my way up from 400 grit, 800 grit, 1000 grit, and 2000 grit. And got a nice smooth surface.
outside and the inside were uh, both finished with two coats of uh, Watco Danish oil. That was allowed to cure overnight between coats. Uh, and then um, that second coat was allowed to cure overnight. And then I don't show it here, but I did a final coat with um, OB Shine Juice, which is one to one to one boiled linseed oil, denatured alcohol, and shellac. Thank you.